Hello everybody. This is Nancy the Disorderly Stitcher. Um, I posted a couple of photos this morning of some needle minders I made and someone asked me to do a quick tutorial. Really there isn't a whole lot to it and you'll have to pardon me I am holding the phone with my hands because I just didn't feel like getting the tripod out. So um, these are buttons that I received from someone, um, Jennifer, the fifth daughter at StitchCon. Okay, so they're just fancy buttons. And these were pins that I bought off of Etsy that had the wire pin, you know, how it circles and then the, the pin comes up and it catches over here. Well, I just had my husband pull those wire pin things out and I made needle minders because I love peanuts. Now, the magnets I got off of Amazon, um, they are killer strong magnets. And um, like you can just do that and they stick. Um, also, these love to stick to each other too um, because you know, these, whoops, these are metal. The peanuts ones are metal. So there you go. Um, so there's that. But really, all I did was I bought some tubes of E6000, and this was at Joann's, picked it up last night. In fact, my husband saw it, and he said, hey, isn't that the stuff you want? And so I opened up one tube, and if you look at the tube, you can see that it has maybe, maybe if I can zoom in on it. Anyway, there's a little poker thing in there that you can poke open the um, end, okay? Okay. And what I have here is a pin that I got from school. Um, we are the Greyhounds, and this is our paw print. So I'm going to take my tube of goo, and I'm just going to put a little dab of goo, because, you know, a little dab will do. My mother always used to say, a little dab will do you. And then... I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to slide it while I can and then I'm going to let it set. And I did discover this morning that if you don't let them set long enough and then you try to maneuver them, they will slide around. So um, I just stuck the, the magnets back in there and figured, okay, if I had to re-glue them, I'd re-glue them. But apparently they're okay. There's enough goo in there that, that the bottom magnet didn't slide. But if it, you know, comes apart, I can fix it. So I'm going to let this sit for most of today. And then it'll be ready to go. In fact, I could probably put this other magnet on there and then just let it set. So really, guys, that's all there is to it. Um, this pin that I just put the, the magnet on, this had one of those stick pin things that with the jiggy wad that you pinch and yes jiggy wad is a technical term and my husband just snapped it off and then ground down the little nubbins so like if you go someplace you know you're doing the touristy thing and you see a pin and you know you don't wear pins then use it as a needle minder um snip off the pin and grind it down and with a dremel tool and boom you got a needle minder so if you have any questions, let me know. Hope this helps. Talk to you later. Bye.